In this video, we'll be solving the differential equation. Okay, in order to solve this differential equation, we're going to let x equal vt. So then dx over dt will be the derivative of v with respect to t times t plus v times the derivative of t. And the derivative of t is just 1. Okay, so I'm just using the product rule here. Now let's replace dx over dt with what we found over here. And also, we're going to replace x with vt. Okay, so x squared becomes v squared t squared. I just put t squared v squared instead. So I just changed the order. Okay, so those are the three spots, x squared, x squared, then x. Those get substituted. Now, here I, I skipped a step, but basically you have two factors of t squared. So you can pull that out at 1 plus v squared. And then you have t squared v squared all over t squared v. This t squared is going to come out as just t because the square root of t squared is t. t times t is t squared. We have t squared times square root 1 plus v squared. And at this point, we can, we see that there's actually three t squareds, and those are going to get eliminated. And so we're going to be left with square root v squared plus 1 plus v squared over v. And here I can break this up into two fractions. The first fraction will be square root v squared plus 1 over v. The second fraction is v squared over v, which is just v. Now I have v on both sides. Those are going to go away. So then it's t times dv over dt is equal to square root v squared plus 1 over v. This is a separable differential equation. Move the v's on the left, t's on the right. Integrate. In order to integrate here, you have to use uh, u substitution. So you, know, you have to use u is v squared plus 1, du is 2v two dv, two dv. And then it's just 1 half du over squared, uh, yeah, squared u, which is just u to the negative 1 half. So that's um, 1 half times 2u the 1 half. Twos are going to cancel, and then you're just going to be left with square root of u, which is just square root v squared plus 1. So that's what's happening here on the left. And then the antiderivative 1 over t is ln of absolute value of t plus c. In order to eliminate the square root, you have to square both sides. We're going to subtract 1 and then square root both sides, and that is v.